Watch the previous video in the playlist first. There are a number of ways to decide whether a number is a prime number. This video will just show one way. Step 1. Decide if the number is potentially a prime, i.e. does it end with either 1, 3, 7 or 9. Step 2. Find the square root of the number if the number is potentially prime as found out by step 1. Step 3. List all the prime numbers below the square root found at step 2. Step 4. Divide the potential prime by every number listed at step 3. If every division does not go exactly, i.e. there is always a remainder, in other words an answer with a fraction, then the potential prime is a prime number. However, if any of the divisions go exactly, i.e. no remainder, then the potential prime is not a prime number. Of course, the process may never get beyond step 1. For example, if the number you are considering to see if it is prime does not end with 1, 3, 7 or 9, then it is not potentially prime. In other words, it's not a prime number, so then there's no point doing steps 2, 3 and 4. You find out immediately at step 1 that the number cannot be a prime number. Let's consider an example. Is 94 a prime number? It does not end in 1, 3, 7 or 9, therefore 94 is not a prime number. We can stop at step 1. We don't have to bother with step 2, 3 or 4 because we've just found out that 94 is not a prime number because it doesn't end in either 1, 3, 7 or 9. Is 233 a prime number? It ends in 3, therefore potentially a prime number. Remember we have to see whether it ends in 1, 3, 7 or 9. And of course 233 ends in 3, so it has the potential to be a prime number. It doesn't mean it is prime however. We now have to go through steps 2, 3 and 4, as outlined at the beginning of the video. Step 2. Find the square root of 233 and we can see that it equals 15.264 approximately. Step 3 requires us to list all the prime numbers up to the square root we found in step 2 and we can see that we have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13. Of course you have to know what the prime numbers are up to this particular position and if you remember in the previous video I suggested you learnt all the prime numbers up to 19. Step 4. We divide 200 33 by every prime number. We can see that when I divide it by 2 I get an answer with a fraction. When I divide by 3 I get an answer with a fraction. Divide by 5 we get another answer with a fraction in it. Likewise when I divide by the 7 then I divide by 11 I get a fraction in the answer and when I divide by 13 I also get a fraction in the answer. Every division gave a fraction in the result. Therefore, 233 is a prime number. Let's look at another example. Is 201 a prime number? Well, we'll apply step 1. It ends in 1, therefore potential prime. Step 2. We take the square root of 201 and it gives us 14.177. Step 3. List all the prime numbers up to 14. 2, 3, 5, 7, 11 and 13. Step 4. Divide 201 by the first prime, which is 2, gives us a fraction answer. Divide by 3 gives us 67. This goes exactly, i.e. no remainder. No fraction in the result. Therefore, 201 is not a prime number. 201 is not prime. Because we've just seen that it divides by 3. And remember, a prime number should only be something that's divided by itself and 1. Well, we've just shown that this is divided by 3. Consequently, it cannot be a prime number. 
Is 107 a prime number? Step 1. It ends in 7, therefore potential prime. Step 2. We take the square root of 107 to give us 10.344. Step 3. We list all the prime numbers up to 10. 2, 3, 5 and 7. Step 4. We divide by each of the prime numbers. So we divide 107 by 2, we can see we get a fraction in the answer. Likewise, when we divide by 3. When we divide by 5, we get a fraction in the answer. When we divide by 7, we get a fraction. Every division does not go exactly. Therefore, 107 is a prime number.